Well, I've just finished the second film in the end of Civilization box set from Radiance, which is number 31, um, and that is uh, Obi Oba, The End of Civilization. And it's another cheery one from Piotr Silskin. Uh, <laughs> it's weird watching these films because they are destructive, they're about the end of society, they're, they've got strong thematics and although they're all kind of downbeat, they are visually striking and interesting movies. This one is set within a dome, a bunker that has been built after the end of the world. Nuclear bombs have gone off, a group of survivors huddle together and they create some sort of resemblance of a society, waiting on an ark which is going to come and save them. I wtedy powstał program Arka. Arka, którą wymyśliliśmy po to, by... And we're introduced to Soft, our main character here, whose main job is to maintain morale within the place. And he slowly starts to uncover dissidents uh, who are proclaiming that the Ark does not exist. And as he slowly comes to realise it, hmm, maybe there isn't such an Ark, he starts to see the effects that hope, the lack of hope, how hope can help on a personal level, how it can function as a social tool, how it can be used as a political element or of a weapon or a stick in which to encourage people. And he starts to see how all of these people are governed by this grander ideal. I was motivated by this engineer, to make a mechanism Po tą zasraną kopułą jesteśmy wszyscy. Jeśli ona się rozleci, to znaczy, że umrą nie tylko oni, ale także my. Ty i ja! And it's a film that leaves you without hope at the end of it, as it kind of robs all our characters and the situations of any kind of driving force and narrative of something positive to look forward to. And I like the idea or the, the, the movie gives us about hope, looking into those constructs that they have, whether it be an idea of a religion, where it be an idea of a saviour, where it be an idea of freedom of some sort, whether it be um, something for a community to, to gather behind and, and root for. And as Soft slowly starts to uncover uh, the people that he lives with, the ideology that has been created, he becomes disillusioned. A może wymyśliłeś coś sprytniejszego? Zwiastowanie? Arka dla wybranych? Nie myśl, że jesteś lepszy. Tu nie ma dobrych. There's a moment where he discovers that all the Bibles have been mulched and burned and, and threw away because it was classified as fiction. Whereas the, the, the leaders of this society have now deemed that the Ark is the new uh, thing that we should all be working towards and aiming towards and waiting for it to come to save us and we have to just get through the daily grind to get this ultimate new hope. The idea that the, the few dictate the many is something that was quite apparent within the war of the worlds. It's even more apparent in Obi Oba as the, the, the world is, is gone and they, they just want to control the masses to maintain the status quo but not to have them give up to keep them doing those mindless tasks to keep society ticking over because they just need that regularity. Taking it away would just make people go, what's the point? And I, I, I like how it focuses on that hope, which should be a positive idea, but how ultimately destructive it can be within the society and for humans themselves. No, I don't know. What the Bible? Takie kawałki o potopiarce. <laughs> yeah, I, I really kind of enjoyed Obi Oba uh, a lot. It was one that's got me thinking, and I'm pretty sure uh, the more it kind of rattles around my head, the more I will have uh, stronger opinions on some of the thematics and ideas that it's brought forth. These are dystopian science fiction movies that have very strong thematics behind it. That, that, are far reaching that touch everybody's lives and it's uh, marvellous because of that. Let's dive into the disc for Obi Oba and see what extras there are. Here we are in the disc for Obi Oba, the end of civilization. Let's go to special features. 
First up, we have an audio commentary by Michael Brook. Then we have Retro Futurism, interview feature it with production designer Andre Kowalczyk on creating the world of Obi Oba, filmed exclusively for Radiance in 2023. This is 23 minutes 38 seconds. He talks about looking for the locations, trying to find the right ones that had the right feeling, the right atmosphere for the film. How he kind of took inspiration from 2001 in Blade Runner, leaning more towards the Blade Runner aesthetic, how he tried to capture that on a budget. Next, we have Cages. This is an award-winning short film about a guard and a prisoner, freedom and captivity. It runs at 7 minutes 51 seconds. It's a fun little short um, about two people just either side of bars but both feeling caged, both looking for excitement uh, or escapism. And that's the extras for Obi Oba. So there we have it. Second film in the Peter Shilskin set and I am very, very much enjoying this so far. I'm looking forward to going on to Gaga, Glory, uh, to the Heroes, which... Again, another one I know nothing about, but I'm looking forward to check out uh, and see how we got on with it. Two films into this set. Uh, if you weren't interested before, have I sparked some curiosity? Have I made you sit up and pay attention to this one? Have you seen the film? Let me know in the comment box below whether you love it, hate it, feel somewhere in the middle. What did you think of the thematics in this one? Can't wait to read your opinion because I think there's a lot to be said about this film. As always, there is more content up here. If you want to see more of my stuff, in the description box below are links to Patreon membership program and manvfilm.com, always, in which you can support me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.